Hello ladies and gentlemen, Fred and Stack here and welcome to a brand new series as Jon Snow. Now this campaign will be a series which will be called Jon Snow. Once we get the Iron Throne, we will become a Targaryen. And then from that point on, we'll be called the Targaryen Dynasty Season 2. So the Jon Snow series will end when we take the Iron Throne. And a new series will start with House Targaryen, which I'm going to call the Targaryen Dynasty Season 2. I absolutely loved the Targaryen Dynasty when we did it last time. It was just one of the most funnest series I've ever done for CK2. My <laughs> biggest regret is ending that series. I ended it way too early. I should have carried it on. Because I did, uh, when I wasn't recording and I stopped on YouTube for a little while, I carried it on and a lot of interesting stuff kicked off. And <laughs> it was such a stupid decision to end it the way I did. However, for this series, I do want to carry on as John. I want to carry on to this series as long as we can. For the Targaryen dynasty. So this first series that you'll see now will be Jon Snow. It'll be focused on Jon Snow getting back to the north. Avenging the Wedded Wedding. Killing off the Bolton's, Freys, Lannisters. Getting on the Iron Throne essentially. That's the main goal. After then we'll start with the Targaryen dynasty season 2. And then it will go on throughout Jon's reign. Through his son's reign. And <laughs> for as long as we go on for it obviously. Um, I have enabled a few things that I'll show you in a bit. But I'll go over the poll quickly. But as you can see, Jon Snow won the vote quite fucking soundly. Uh, Aegon. Aegon, sorry. Stannis came second place. Uh, then Aegon after that. And then Danny, And then Tommen at the end. So yeah. Now obviously this doesn't mean there will be three series. With this first lot here. With Jon Snow. Davin Lannister and Harris Harlow. Now with Lannister. It will probably go up after the events of Wessex. I imagine Wessex will end before Lannister. But you never know. It could come for ages. But Wessex, who knows. Um... So yeah, the Lannister will be a Lannister dynasty. I plan to do Davin, but I may give the option to potentially do um, another uh, another character. Uh, just to give you the choice. But if Davin wins that poll, then we'll definitely do Davin for sure. Uh, Harris Harlow as well. We'll do a Harlow dynasty at some point, probably after the Targaryen one, which could be ages away. Well, <laughs> we'll, get, we'll get there eventually. Um, and then after those three are done, then we'll move on to something else. Probably a different start date. Probably around Dance of Dragons, because I'll probably be in the mood to play around then with after the because by the time it, all that ends uh house of dragon season two would have come out and uh, i'd be all over that when that does come out uh when the poll ended we did do another vote uh deciding what dynasty uh john goes for and as you can see the targaryen ones targaryen one which was for quite a while a, a tie between these two stuck was quite high we did have a comment saying john is more targaryen more stuck than targaryen uh, but then someone said, because he's more of a start, doesn't excuse the fact that he's a Targaryen. And it's true, John is a Targaryen. Whether he likes it or not, he is a Targaryen. <laughs> um, but yeah, so you have three options. You can make him a Stark and he remain as a Stark forever. He's become Lyanna's uh, matrilineal son, if that makes any sense. Or he becomes Rhaegar's son. Or you can do your own dynasty called the Stark Targaryen dynasty, which I would have been in favour of had they won. Um, had it stayed as a tie, I probably would have chosen... I probably would have decided, made a decision between two, two of them. But anyway, um, Targaryen won, so that it makes it easy for me to decide. So yeah, Targaryen this is uh, Targaryen this is season two, uh, which I don't know if I call it season two in the in the whole series. Probably just call it S two next to it. Uh, but yeah, I'm quite looking forward to that. I did thoroughly enjoy uh, the Targaryen this season. I'm happy to do so again, and hopefully this time we will go on a bit longer and more stuff will kick off. Uh, but anyway, that's that. We shall jump into the game. I have the game open. And here we are. So, I've done a few test runs to make sure John can get the Iron Throne. He does, it does work. Because <laughs> there's a few times where it made me a Targaryen and didn't put me in a family tree. So, um, but I have tested now and it should work. So, let's begin the Feast of Crows. Jon Snow has recently been named Lord Commander of the Wall. Since the failed attack by... Well, not failed attack by the... Since the intervention of Stannis Baratheon, the Wildlings have been pushed back, and Jon has been uh, declared the um, the wall. It's really weird, though. Has that always been like that? Or is that? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe it's always been like that, and I just haven't noticed. Hmm, I never paid much attention to the wall, I guess. Anyway, it doesn't really matter that much. It's only, it's only like a. It's not going to pay a much effect in the whole thing. But anyway, this is called Jon Snow. This series. We will play as Jon Snow, even though we do become Jon Stark, but we'll just, we'll just go with Jon Snow. I'm going to make sure I've got the right. Yeah. I've gone through the rules already, I haven't set them out. 
so I'll quickly scroll through. You can pause the thing if you want to see what I've got on. I left Sunset Invasion on because it does spawn in with a massive like dragons and massive armies. It's really cool. Um, even though it's really overpowered, but it, it adds a challenge that I like um, to have in my games. So I'm happy to do that. I put Reduces on to make it harder. And I just basically made the game a lot harder, basically. That's what I've done. I could make the White Walkers. Not for that. Leave for the Renoni. So I'm sick of. Because you get so many people taming dragons that literally can't tame a dragon. It's just so stupid. Uh, White Walkers attempts to make it harder, but I remember I did it last time and we actually got murdered. Um, I think normal's fine for now, I think. If we do hard, I think we'd still die. Because we don't have the strength to stop the White Walkers, really. But I'll do on for now. And we'll see how it goes. I mean, the White Walkers can have a chance of returning, can't they, I think. So, we'll see. But yeah, that's... Yeah, let's get into it. Let's not sit here too long. I've got stuff I do, do, don't really... I have a lot of time to record, sort of. I, I may do, but it depends when my girlfriend finishes work. But that doesn't matter. We're going to carry on regardless. I will, if she does finish early... We're just in a recording, then I'll come back and I'll do another half an hour. and then So yeah, this first episode will be an hour, uh, in theory. So, yeah. So right now we start over at Castle Black. Uh, I'm a skin changer. Uh, would John seek out other skin changers? Uh, potentially. Uh, John has a lot of different, uh, and let's like, his bloodline, so he's got his own one here. The blood of the bastard Winterfell. The bastard son of Eddard Stark. John Snow is a natural warrior. A leader of men, inspiring loyalty in those around him, despite his baseborn origins. Kraken Stark. Oh, yeah, the <laughs> unforgiving Lord of Winterfell. Yeah, he was... You'll see him... I'm looking forward to seeing him in the, <laughs> in the Dance of Dragons. Bail the Blood. Bail the Blood. <laughs> Bail the Bard. Who uh, stole their uh, daughter of the Lord of Winterfell. Brand the Builder. Legendary Hero. And you got the other Brand the Breaker. <laughs> uh, I guess, yeah, why not? I feel like John probably would do that. Uh, what is our, our um, ambitions, really? What would John... John is a normal guy. He's just, he's loyal and whatnot. So, obviously, the choice for him going south and fighting against the um, the Boltons is definitely motivated by his, his love for his family and the fact that his family has been killed off. And for those unfamiliar, um, and I, you know, I imagine most people are quite familiar now, We are. this is taking place at the end of the Feast of Crows. So, literally, the fourth book in the series, I think. Yeah, fourth book in the series. So, is the end of that. So, quite a few things have happened. Um, for those who haven't read the books, I'd advise not going any further. But, I'm going to carry on. So, if you don't haven't read the books, then I'd stop watching. But, if you've seen the show, you many of you will know how it all goes anyway. But, we're here to give Jon Snow a better ending. Um, as you will be aware, the White Walkers are coming south. There is no Knight's King. He doesn't exist. The Knight's King is not a thing in this. I think, actually... Um, I don't know if here... There's a Knight's King in, in, that used to be in... Um, I think he's in the Knight's Watch somewhere in the Bonds of Kingdom titles. That's not it. Hang on. I'll find it eventually. Yeah, there it is. The Knight's King Brandon, that's the Knight's King. But he's dead. <laughs> and he's been dead many years, and so is the Knight's Queen. So they're dead. So the White Walkers sort of moving south to probably avenge them. Some of the Wildlings have survived. The North has ruled on the hands of the Boltons, who recently murdered. Uh, and he had sons. No, I didn't know that. Okay. <laughs> Did not know that. So yeah, the Boltons have killed Rob Stark and but murdered him his father was Eddard was killed as well as Catelyn was also killed in the in the uh, twins Arya is now a fake and is allegedly over marrying Ramsay we're gonna play it from a character perspective that Jon Snow thinks that is his sister down there uh Sansa's missing Arya is missing although Jon thinks Arya's there Brannon and Rickon are nowhere to be found we've no idea where they could be uh, Peter Bears is trying to scheme and take over the Vale and the Riverlands. The Tullys are still fighting on for their land. The Freys are still alive, unfortunately. Um, Euron Greyjoy is currently leading his armies against the Reach. The Martells have not do much, but maybe instigating their grand plan. Uh, Stannis is still in charge of the Stormlands. He's now in the north fighting for our claim. Well, eventually, anyway. Um, and he's also a deem of Aegon Targaryen. He's now landing in the Stormlands. Uh, Tommen's on the Iron Throne, married to Marjorie. How dare he? <laughs> uh, and the Arryns aren't doing much. Daenerys is, of course, over Marine. Not doing much, but will be soon. 
and will probably make an either her bid for the Iron Throne or she will remain in New Geese. Anyway, Aemon Targaryen is still alive as well. As well. Uh, but anyway, let's um, yeah, let's just start moving. It's so obviously with Jon Snow, and this little bit is Jon Snow it could be very short or it could be very long. Who who knows? Uh, Lord Commander John, I declare that my body brother Robert left no true one issue with his body. The boy Joffrey, the boy Tommen, and Marcella being an abomination of incest between Cersei and Sir Jamie. By right of birth and blood, I do lay claim to the Iron Throne. Let all true men declare their loyalty. Signed stands to the House Baratheon, the first of his name, King of the Andals, the Royal and First Men, and Lord of the Seven Kingdoms. Yeah. He seems proof of legitimacy in the flames. I mean, that's bollocks, but <laughs> John's not going to believe that for sure. Feels that Cersei and Jamie have been carrying an affair, potentially, yeah. They never, never liked Robert much. And yeah, the Golden Hair is the, the main bit of the argument. I think John does believe that. I think it's pretty fucking obvious. John's not an idiot. I'm going to get demonetized now. But John's no fool. He, he's more, he, you know, his father died for that information and he's not stupid. So I think John would agree. I'm a sworn brother, Night's Watch. John loses his claim to the North. Yep, because he's sworn brother, Night's Watch. And this is the Red Wedding bit. Uh, my brother Robin and his fellow Northmen were outrageously murdered by the phrase at Red Wedding. With the help of the Lannisters, despite having guess right. Uh, guess right is the whole thing people hate more. Not the fact that he killed them at the wedding. It's more the guess right that was uh, broken. After all they have done to my family, I brought this scorn and disgust of House Stark and the entire North upon the Lannisters. So we're in the blood feud. Which would be interesting. And my brother Robin and his fellow Northmen were outrageously murdered by the phrase at Red Wedding. This dishonorable action has brought in the scorn and disgust of how Stark and Ty North upon the phrase. I'm surprised, actually, that you don't get one for the Boltons as well. Because they actively um, murdered. I mean, to be fair, yes, it was the phrase who killed Rob, but Bruce was the one who stabbed him in the, the heart of a dagger. So, I'm sort of, yeah, okay. I <laughs> uh, is my heir. So, if John dies, <laughs> we're going to be in trouble. But my idea is for John not to get killed off, so he can get on the Iron Throne, ideally, that's the idea. So, hope that works out. Um, you'll notice I've used quite a few sub-mods. I don't know if I can show them in this, but... I'll leave a link to them in the description, uh, for those interested. Um, so yeah, so a lot of there's one thing I like is the nicknames. So Eddard's got a nickname, the Quiet Wolf. Uh, leon has got the She-Wolf. Brian's got the Wild Wolf. I like these nicknames. I think mean, some of them obviously got a little thing that's that's normal. Like uh, Robin Robert is called Sweet Robin. I think Victorian. The Iron Captain, yeah, I like that. Uh Kraken Store, Tone Cloak. Uh don't think he has one. I don't think the Lancers on this side have any, no. Um I can't. Yeah, Robert's a demon of the trident. <laughs> Uh, Tom's a boy king. I think Joffrey should have one ready, but there you go. Uh, but what I will do straight away is highlight the characters of interest. Because obviously these guys, I want to see what's going on with them. Too many Let's Plays I've done where they just get killed off and I don't find out what's happened. But keep an eye on uh, the Pirate King as well. Daenerys you want to keep an eye on. What's going on over there? Even though she's too far away to be interacted with. Uh, Mace Tyrell. Keep an eye on Tommen. And his mother. Queen Cersei, or Lady Parent Cersei now, who interestingly she dies as Tommen becomes the actual Lord of the uh, Westlands anyway. So keep an eye on Baylor's, keep an eye on the Tullys. We are, I mean, John isn't related to the Tullys um, by marriage, but he does have a close bond with them. I think he would help them uh, if he could. And of course you've got Ramsay, keep an eye on that bugger, which we can find enough off a non-aggression pact if we're not going to. Because I'm just not not about that. Um, keep an eye on Tormund Giants, Spain, see what happens over there. If I can try and get some of the wildlings out of the north, I would, but I can't do that yet anyway. Okay. The war was mine. With the aid of Stannis Baratheon, we have repelled the wildlings. I now have been chosen by my brothers as the Lord Commander of the Night's Watch. Stannis' struggle for the Iron Throne continues, however, and he proposes that I be his Lord of Winterfell. Just making sure to drink some water because otherwise I just want my throat will combust and I will die of dehydration. <laughs> anyway, yeah, so uh, there's two options. In the books, John refuses, and in the show, he refuses until he gets stabbed, and then John takes about enough anyway. 
because he's just in my head anyway. These the when he gets and he dies and get comes back, the ruthlessness is more. He's more ruthless. Um, he's lost his kindness a bit more when he gets resurrected. But um, but anyway. Uh, so Jon Snow in the books refuses out of the sake of honor because he's joined the Night's Watch and whatnot. In this scenario, we're going to make him take the the North, which makes means. Uh, can I make anyone else uh, be the heir? Maybe before I bugger off. I don't think so. Was Westford? No. Uh, I think Bowen's going to get it, which is fine. We're just keeping an eye on him. Grant command, apparently. No, that's fine. I'm not too bothered. So what I will do though before I leave is, <laughs> is uh, I'm gonna give him more uh, camp positions. Just to say a bit of, I mean that's not really that, that much, but you'll see what I'm doing in a minute. There's, I need more the. Uh, no, I don't know how to work. No, but I want to. I'm gonna raise the army of the Night's Watch and take them with me because John can. It's so it's a cheesy thing to do, but it will secure our victory, and I want that definitely for sure. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna we're gonna take the uh, the offer, which I think I I still think to myself, would John do it? Will John do it now in this series? But obviously we are gonna have to. Always we're gonna be stuck at the wall for the entire series, so so we have little choice. But we are gonna take the the north um, because John in this scenario is wants to honor Night's Watch, but he also knows that to defeat the White Walkers, he needs the banners of the north, and he needs. A king like Stannis on the Iron Throne. John doesn't quite know he's a Targaryen yet, so right now he's fighting the Stannis to claim. But when he, when it's revealed to him, then that may change things. Yeah, so we lose the trait, bastard, get the shit mines, become a member of the Stark family, and Stannis becomes my new liege. There you go. And we got uh, Night's Watch armies, which is quite cheesy, but I don't care. As part of his grace is offered to me, King Stannis has offered me the on hand of Lady Bow, the Wilding Princess, in marriage. She is the most beautiful woman and resourceful as well. Would John, despite the fact that he's lost Ygritte, so Ygritte's dead at this point, she's dead. She's gone. Uh, would John marry again? Because <laughs> he has just lost Ygritte, that's not that long ago. Um, so I do feel, would John marry her? He could do. John probably sees he's quite beautiful and whatnot, but he's also honourable. He's not going to suddenly just chuck himself in there because for the sake of it. I think John... It, it's a difficult decision. I don't know if John... I feel like in the books, John probably isn't going to marry Val. In, obviously, in the show... In the, obviously, in the show, that didn't happen. But in the, in the books, it's difficult to say. Val probably wants to be with John so she can gain a bit of power. But also, John knows he needs to inspire the Lords of the North. And the North will suddenly get one look at John with, oh, he's married to a wildling. Yeah, fuck him. <laughs> so I think immediately we're going to have the, the John is going to get have a bad rep if he does that. So I think John's a Stark. He's not going to marry a wildling. He knows that he, that's a bad move if he wants to get the North the North and Lords inside. So he will just refuse. And hopefully Val doesn't get executed, but... But yeah, oh, Rosby's died. <laughs> Rosby always dies. Um, I think that is the end of his bloodline. I think. Yep. He's dead. <laughs> and now Tommen's got Rosby, which makes him a little more powerful, which is ideal. Uh, we'll take command position. I think John Woods. Don't want to get John killed, but you'll still want to get him to be killed. Get okay, a couple of people that joined us. Something I will do now. Let's just we'll go to the next. We move all our troops down to last half. We've got the support of the Glovers. The um, not quite the Umbers, because he's in jail. Hopefully the Umbers join us. Uh, something I will do as well is summon um, other people to our cause, like Asher, for example. I can't give him, take his disinherited trait away, so unfortunately he would just be disinherited for the rest of the game. Although, unless, um, depending if Roderick dies and Ryan dies, and there's no heir to Iron Wrath, I will give uh, Asher the the title. See if we can get Jorah to join us. If I give him a gift, maybe. Because Jorah's just... No, he won't do it. That's a shame. Right. Uh, let's have a look at who else we could get. I don't want to like do the join character things. I just think it's way too easy. So I'm going to see if we can get a few Umbers to join us. No, he won't because this is... Uh, yeah, he's close relatives, so not going to happen. No. we got a few... I mean, we'll see who else we can get. Uh, maybe Lung Corbray might join us, potentially. That's a... Long shot. Okay, he would. 
Fine. We'll take Loon Corbray. I'll see if the Blackfish, because right now the Blackfish is probably leading troops in the Riverlands, but I'm going to assume that he knows they're going to get their ass kicked, but I don't think he will. I don't know, maybe. Yes, he will. Good. We'll take him. I want Blackwood. You got anyone that I can take? No, you, no, you probably wouldn't have banned your father. That makes sense. Uh, the Blackwood guy would join us. That's fine. We'll take him. It's good, Commander. Uh, what about... Um... Oh, I love the fact they've added the blue lips in for Euron. That's quite cool. I like, I like that they've done that. And Ash and Fionn will be in jail. Uh, we may be able to get Fionn back. Lannisters, no. Bronn, no. Um, potentially some people in the Golden Company, but I think that's likely to be un un completely unlikely. Paris and Selmy, would you join me? Unlikely, but I'm curious to see what you would say. No. Didn't think so. Uh, Golantaro? No, unlikely the Reach don't have much reason to really come help. Um, maybe Manly Woods. Hallam reads off. Oh, what about some of the... Um, what's his face? The Free-Eyed Raven, where are you? Where is he? <laughs> oh, no, set this realm. If I go to... Who the hell's that? <laughs> what the fuck? I don't know why she's 65,000 years old, but okay. Let's see. Oh, these, these are the White Walkers over in E.T. Because it's said that the White Walkers are in E.T. as well, which is interesting. Um, I think that's, yeah, Jocera, who are these? The bastards of, uh... Oh, you won't join me, though. Because his opinion of him is better, annoyingly. Yeah, she won't either. That's unfortunate. Um, I think if we find... Um... Arthur's dead. Dragon might come. No. Um, yeah, I'm also, something I'm also looking for as well is Garrett Tuttle. But I know he's in Night's Watch, but I don't know if. Um, oh, Malcolm, that's it. No, he wouldn't have had his nephew, which makes sense. Um, I want Harrow to play that as. Um, Royland. No. <laughs> They're all going to have a very high opinion of uh, him, I think, so it's unlikely they'll come over. Duncan Tuttle's here, though. Which... No. Garrett's over there. Finn and... Uh, Carl, this is before they die, I think, in, if you depend on how you go in the Telltale game. He does have Sylvie, which I might... Yeah, I might invite his mum over and help out. Um, in terms of our generals, I don't know who else. I'll have a little look on the. Oh God. The 65,000 year old woman, that Stephanie was broken. We've got Andric, the unsmiling, which is a hell of a look at the stats on that guy. Crime and Ellie's. Victorian? No way. I'll take him. I need his. I need John to live, so I'm happy to take. Who the hell's Samuel Stone? I have no idea. It's pretty good, though. Jamos is coming. Brienne. You think Brienne might actually would go with us because of um, the honours she kept to Lady Stark, but uh, obviously not. Build a car. You're all pretty good. Take you. I want noble people. I don't want just lowborns I can just get out of anywhere. Manta Raider. <laughs> then Corbray's already coming to join us, hopefully. Which would be good. Uh, I'm not having to fray Michael, even though he's a boss branch, but still. No. <laughs> John's never accepting no fray. Oh, it's a wildling. I'll take him. Because John is high in the opinion of wildling, so I think it makes the most sense. I can get a giant. Yes, please. Blow my money, I know, but I don't care. If I can get a giant, damn it, I'm getting a giant. Uh, Rain Hill. Uh, well, the uh, Rain Descendants or Bastards of House Rain. Uh, hey, Torag will come. I'm happy for him to come. If Tormund does get himself killed, which is, you know, you never know. Then uh, we've got him over there. Some more, I'm pretty sure some, there's a load more wild things here, yeah. Got a bunch of him, them here, which I'm more happy to take. Oh, they're not, oh, they don't have the wilding trait. That's interesting. Oh, he's come of age. Uh, Borhel, he's 75, he'd be dead of old age. So no point adding him over. I'm looking for another wildling that I'm... <laughs> no, damn. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, we'll take you. And where is... Garrett Kingsblood, that's what I'm looking for. Who is actually the descendant, and I'll show you in a minute. I'm happy to have some more wildlings. John is going to bring wildlings over. He has a fair, like, not loyalty, but like, sort of sense of like, he likes the wildlings. The Kingsblood family, interesting enough, are the descendants of the brother of, or the, no, not brother. Uh,. No, yeah, brother of yeah, brother of Raymond Redbeard, who who his line is obviously dead now, but his brother is actually a member of the King's Blood, and they date back to Raymond Redbeard, which is an interesting thing. But we take them uh, for the time being. John's uh, ambitions is to not get the Afro, but um, to be honest, I think John taking becoming. Um, I don't know. We could be friends, stance and it makes our sort of like <laughs> go going off and declaring war in the uh, against the. Um, hang on one second. Hey, what was I saying? Oh yeah, I think John probably would just uh, get married. I mean that's uh, it's fine. <laughs> uh, war focus because we're at war um, makes the most sense. Return to traditional sigil. Oh, right, my sigil's out. That's, I'll leave us out for now. It's fine. Um, we'll set the bodyguards out when we get more men. But for now, we will have a bit more support. The Manleys have come to join us. Excellent stuff. That's what I want to see. And Boat Marsh had slint armor for some reason. Does that mean he's dead? Hang on. Yes, he died. He died of poor health. Ha <laughs> ha. Bastard's dead. Ha <laughs> ha. Whatever. Sorry. <laughs> Yeah, he's not dead by this point. John hasn't cut his head off. That's after uh, he left. Get a few more wildlings and warriors in our court. I'll set up commanders later on, but for now. Okay, what's going on? We tear and Greyjoy up. It's the most egregious law break ever. We tear and Greyjoy would never fight for the Starks. Never. When he ne definitely certainly wouldn't for Jon Snow. But maybe with everything that's happened, he might be more inclined to join us, perhaps. I'm Lord Jon Snow of House Stark. And I will make my answers proud. Lord Snow is his nickname. He still has that. I'll give, get rid of that at some point. Uh, who exiled someone? Ramsey exiled somebody. I didn't know who it was. Was it Fionn, by any chance? No. I don't know who that was. Exiled out of some random nobody. That's fine. <laughs> uh, Pirate King's off, off the wall. We've got a giant. Absolutely perfect. Brilliant stuff. Why did everyone come to my court and I'll start setting up commanders and whatnot? Toro the Tool. Oh, there goes Fion. And it's gone to Night's Watch. That's fine. I mean, I, I Fion and John definitely, they're not going to mix. <laughs> in the show, obviously, they got on a bit better, which I think is for a show point. I think in the books, it could go like the show, I don't know. But it's You never know, really. Brendan Blackfish has come to raid. Excellent stuff. I think that's everyone now. We'll set up some bodyguards. We want the best fighters in the realm. So Brennan Blackfish, uh, com combat skill 100. Despite his old age, absolutely get him on there. I want John to be fully protected. And as for Victoria and Greyjoy, 150. Absolutely get him on board. Uh, Link Corbray, 130. Yep. Take you. <laughs> okay, I want John to be protected. 80. I think Giant gives a personal. Oh, no, it doesn't actually. No, that's a shame. Um, 85, 90. Yeah, Tori's pretty good, actually. Um, who else should we get? You're 65, you're 70, not as good. 80, no, not bad. 90. But when he becomes, not becomes a teenager, he'll be a bit better. He's actually not bad. He's actually pretty good. We'll take him. Designated Regent for now probably would be... Not the Giant, that's just silly. <laughs> uh, Brendan Blackfish, definitely. That makes the most sense. We'll set up a couple of uh, Master of Things. Lord of Bones. Cup error. Um, probably not a good idea doing them. I mean, the Giant's not going to betray us, is he? It's a Giant. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, Brendan Blackford is going to be the court tutor. Wet nurse, whoever that is. I don't know who that is. Did, did her um, daughter come over? No. No. Ah, oh, that's fine. Uh, commanders. Blackfish, for sure. That's a no-brainer. Victorian, absolutely. Uh, Blackwood, yeah, we'll take him. And um, you're, you're brilliant commander, so I'll take you. Court physicians, I can't really do. There's, I can't. I don't, I don't need a council right now, so I'm quite happy just to give that. I'm not bother with that. Uh, Blackwood, I don't really care. I wouldn't say, if we have the Blackwood stay, I might give them possibly Blackwood Grove, because that used to belong to the Blackwoods uh, many, many, many moons ago. To Rickard Blackwood, but before he got, I think, kicked out or something. Something happened. He got banished, basically. And um, I think did the Blackwoods actually live here before they became went to the Riverlands? I, I'm actually curious. Yeah, they did. <laughs> so the Blackwoods are actually sent from the here. That's quite interesting. And not no, I did not realize that before. Mm -hmm. I did not notice that. That's cool. Um, we we'll catch up the stands quickly because knowing the AI, he would just run ahead and get himself killed. I knew that is Callum. He's ex exciting people for some reason. Yep. And the rest of the guys will carry on behind. Just instead, I can get angry with his, what, with his daughter. I mean, that's not gonna. Yeah, I don't think John's gonna care that much. I think we're still, are we still rivals with Alice of Form? Yeah, we are. It could potentially be a problem for us later in the line, but for now, it's not a lot we can do. This second army here, I'm gonna rally up that last half. Yeah, what's this? I've encountered Paxis of Summer many times with carrying my juice for the skin changes. I don't know what exactly with skin changes are to wait what? <laughs> She's a bit old for John. I think I think definitely friendship, yeah, we'd take a, a friend. Which uh, would she actually come join us maybe? No. Shame his son's uh, her son's brilliant commander. Uh Reed's with us. The Mormons? They're with me, yeah. Most of the Northlands are. Apart from the Rise Worlds. They don't really like them. The Flints are with them, Locks. They're not that, that loyal to the Starks. Hopefully we can find Rick on as well. By all right for second army. The Stone and the Brotherhood's been defeated. They always get their asses kicked, so I'm not that <laughs> unsurprised. Yep. Wasn't Jane the... I thought there was a woman that he had hostage. That's it. He has a tongue cut out for some reason. Because uh, Euron's Gina are kind of nuts. <laughs> Hoping the AI doesn't do something stupid and ride to the south. It's just being probably be stupid if they do that. Actually, no. Uh, Raiders goes up there for now. I'm gonna just bring them down south when we're done. Oh, he's legitimized himself. It's gonna be a border crisis if all Raiders uh, dies and his brother takes over. Or his uh, uncle, uh, nephew, I think. Where is John? Well, we're going down to hit the car stocks. Good. Oh, I need 500 of them. What's this? My lord... Uh, what's going on? <laughs> Why the hell did uh, this guy just do, do a trial by combat? What the hell did he do? Well, I make Jamie... I'll keep Tyrion as a uh, special character because he's interesting. Um, yes, Harlem was slain by Robert Strong. That's the guy that I'm concerned about killing John. So, yeah, I'm a little concerned about John maybe getting murked by, um, by him at some point. Hopefully not though. Um, that's what I go there for now. And Mance Raid is dead. Yeah, burnt alive by uh, Stannis, Stannis Baratheon. Something that I'm sure Stannis doesn't quite agree. Uh, John doesn't quite agree with the whole um, Crasta Creep Wilding Revolt. No, no. <laughs> the, uh, the guys that um, killed off uh, Mormon are getting killed off. Justice to me. I can't. I just have to. I might bring him over to Winterfell, join him with the Glovers. Get Brennan over there. John can fight off the Carstokes. It's a slight sort of. Uh, well, the Carstokes will earn their rights to leave. Um, 
Yeah, we were well, well within our rights to leave us when we had Rickard Karstark executed. Which was a stupid decision by John. I don't know why the hell he did that. But there you go. And we defeated the Karstarks. Bastards. <laughs> Traitors, I say. I might actually, instead of uh, this... Revive at Winterfell and start besieging it, I think. I don't need to... If I stick around with um, he's going to have all the people that rebel against him killed now, isn't he? We'll keep a little eye on what's going on over here. Yeah, the Brotherhood, they always die. Uh, John... Uh, uh, John, sorry. Stannis is going to lose... Oh, the, the Martells are joining him now, so the Martells... Yeah, that's going to definitely help his war. No, nope. Sal or Sans betrayed us and is now attacking them, which is annoying. Don't really need to be fighting them right now, to be honest. His dark. Hello? Oh, she's lost. Is she lost? Any conclusively, but then he used up the the title for some reason. Does that mean Daenerys is out? Nope, she just got drowned. Nice. Does that mean Daenerys is out of the... Well, she's not quite. I don't know. I don't know if that's meant to happen, to be honest. Because that sounds a bit like a bug just kicked in there. But we'll see. <laughs> Something I do like as well with this sub-mod that I'm using. Um, I can't remember what it was. I've been using so many. But Drogon, Rhaegar, and Viserion are all um, children of Dreamfire. Which is something I really like. They're all uh, male dragons as well. Which just makes sense. Um, they're all the descendants of uh, Dreamfire. Which I think is quite like. They have their own little spot in the uh, Targaryen dragon family troops. Which I quite like. Now oh, Daenerys has gone to war of... Um, okay. She's going to hit Tommen. Which would be interesting. Tommen's got a lot on his plate already. We've got off. <laughs> the generals we have here are absolutely stacked, I've got to say. Brendan Tully, the Blackfish, we tearing Greyjoy, the Iron Captain, Jamoth Blackwood. Uh, these guys aren't as known, but Jon Snow, like, them leading the battles together is just, it's, oh, it's a dream. It's a dream come true. <laughs> Stick you in that. But yeah. All right, we move down, help the Glovers. What's this? A number of your answers require rotation of piety, conviction, and religious beliefs. What would John do? He's not religious and he's not zealot. He's not really cynical either. Um, I don't know. I mean, I'm not sure. But John, is John that religious in believing the old gods that much? I think if given the opportunity, John would never convert to the any other gods. I think Zealous is just, that's, I think that makes more sense and we get a bit more martial, so I'll take that. Okay, the Glovers are going in. Leave a bit for me, lads. <laughs> We're getting in to help them out anyway. Might be able to fight Roos. Edmund Tully has been defeated. Um, uh, I don't know if we're... Hang on, sorry. Try to click on... Oh, no, Brennan left us. Oh, no, that sucks. It's because of this script kicked in. But I'll see if I can get him to come back. I don't need that. Do I need Dragonkin? I get a Valyrian opinion. It's not me. A lot. I'll see if he comes back. <laughs> That's annoying. I think it's because the script makes him go to the Riverlands. Uh, the Vale, sorry. Uh, Edmund is lost. And he's lost his stuff. Mm, yeah, it's a shame. Oh. I, I thought someone important died there, but not really. You're at the bottoms in Whitford. Ah, I clicked on fucking. I, <laughs> it's a problem with your monitors is that sometimes you click off the screen. That's really annoying. Uh, yeah, you come back. Excellent. I went back. <laughs> we feared the. Oh, 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 oh. Ramsey's been captured. Fantastic. Please kill him. <laughs> Please kill him. <laughs> Please do. Fantastic. Right. Let's move down there. Where's Victorian gone? Is there scripts involved that I think maybe have moved them away? Oh, what? Blah. 
What in the fucking when? <laughs> when? When? Who? <laughs> Jeez, what? The Terran's got a dragon. Okay, I, I may have missed something. I think the script kicked in for Viserion being over. Uh, Viterian being over in Marine Yunkai. Maybe, maybe it's a fever dream, and, and uh, Viterian wasn't with us the whole time. <laughs> maybe John was just being hopeful. But um, anyway, she's married Viterian, which is interesting. It kills any plans to Daenerys, Daenerys marrying John, but um, not bad. Okay, nice. <laughs> that's a that's a powerful husband for Daenerys to have. That's for sure. Um, right, with him gone, we can sign another bodyguard now, I guess. Take Asher. Asher's quite loyal to the he, the start. The foresters are very loyal to us, anyway, so I'm happy to let them do that. Uh, we will get Brennan back in a bit, anyway. So we're not the end of the world. Is Asher not a command? Who's? Oh, I haven't changed the commander by. Uh, Link Corporate is pretty good. We'll take him. John can lead the main sort of the main bit, I guess. Brennan will come back, which is good. Oh, see if we can cut him off there. Right now, I can. Now I can, because I can make him my bodyguard once again. I think it's a script thing, so he wouldn't have left me if it wasn't for um the siege of Riverrun ending. ending. So now we're in our canon. We say that Brendan wasn't with us then, but he is now. Um, after the defeat of Riverrun and all that stuff, uh, Brendan's gone north to join the Starks. He's heard of his, not really nephew, but his, I mean, sort of nephew, but not really, because he's not, he's not related to Catelyn anyway. So I guess he's sort of nephew. Um, oh, Sansa's married to Baelish. Did I miss that event? I must have done. And... <laughs> Then declared incapable when Lord Horton Redford's actually taken over. That's interesting. Harold's got the gonorrhea. That's what's happened when he's a bit lustful. Um, so yeah, I think uh, Brennan's heard of the defeat of uh, the Riverlands, and you know he's got nothing to remain there. He could go and help the uh, help Lord Aaron, but then he's heard that he, that Baelish is married off to Sansa, and he just doesn't want to get involved. He has had a bastard though, it's quite funny. Um, so he's gone north to join with. Um, to join Sans, to join uh, Johns and help John take back the North and revenge his family. He believes that vengeance can be found in the North. And uh, Liam Corbray also um, was with Brennan at the time. He was also went over to help out in the Riverlands. Liam Corbray uh, heard of all this stuff going on. Thought, do you know what? I'll come North with you and help. He took his wife with him as well. And um, obviously we got we got Blackwood. Blackwood probably popped over as well after the. Um, well, I think they're still fighting it, aren't they? But we're saying canon wise, he's gone over there already and thought this is. Titus's war is lost, so I'm going to go help the Starks and go from there, I think. Right, we can get Bren now, he's in charge of that. Eamon's still sort of been released. Interesting. Why has he done that? Val's still in jail, though. Horus has been released. Did he release his brother? He did, yeah. And yeah, he's had a bunch of people killed off, which is expected. We're going to set the remaining army over there. Oh, well, Olo Lophan was hanged. <laughs> um, you've spent the last three weeks certainly campaigns for Lyrian Freehold. They're a minister to learn from the conquest against the old Giscari Empire. Interesting. John's obviously reading about military warfare while he's off doing his thing. Sansa probably is going to be our heir. Oh no, maybe not. Because uh, this one's Ignatic, isn't it? Right, we hit the Starks there. Uh, Ramsay's still in jail. Shame Glover hasn't ex had him executed yet. But we'll see. He might. Uh, what? <laughs> Rotom was what? So didn't. Ha Sorry? <laughs> okay. You're on to get a bit creative. Hello, what's going on? Lady of Rosby. Why is she Lady of Rosby? What, what's happened? Oh, for some reason, she. Uh, the Lannisters gave her uh, Stokesworth for some reason? Uh, no, no, sorry, Rosby. I think my Zillian run in favour of Sir Brant Hollow. So, the Bruins have got Rosby for some reason? I don't know why. Saving the main. Yeah. Okay. Bruins and other lords of Rosby. She was given that for some reason. I don't know why. Was she related to Rosby, maybe? Um, 
No, the Fraser more claim to it than the Stoke. Oh, no, no, yeah, she was. Although I'm surprised the Fraser weren't given a claim, I'm guessing. Because it would have really. Because the Fraser had a better, better claim, to be fair. Oh, we won. Nice. That was easy. <laughs> I won't lie, I didn't I imagine there would be a bit more challenge, but we're heading north and uh, go to, we're probably, actually, no. Go towards. Uh, we got to kill some Fraser in the way. Come face me, bitch. Oh, Lord Walter Frey himself! Is that please be Walter Frey? Oh, it's gonna be his one of his sons, I think, though, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, Baelish is claiming more of the Riverlands because he's now the Lord Paramount. Hopefully, he dies and my sister can return home. What's going on with the forests? Uh, attacking. Yeah, they're coming to fight me. Come fight with me. Brilliant. Mira's married the River Lord. Talia's gone to marry one of the Flints of the Mountain. Pray for an alliance against the. The White Hills, I imagine. His blood's still alive, unfortunately. His wife died, though. <laughs> Just thought, oh well. Carl died years ago. Torrin White Hills, his heir. He got Griff as well. Hmm. Again, yeah, if I'm wondering, I'm not going to go ahead with the, uh, the Forest series. I'm going to go ahead with something else instead, which you've already seen yesterday. The release of the developer diary for the American supplement I'm working on. Oh, I think I might get to kill the phrase. Um. So you would have already seen that. Reset the title of all that business. That's mine. Thank you very much. Sorry we don't get the Blackwood Grow, but I could get the Blackwoods the Dreadfort. Maybe. We'll see. He gave that to the whoever that is. Is that um one of his Yeah, I think so. We've got Hormer back now. Which is good. I wonder if we can uh, legitimize what is the Hormer guy. Hopefully we can. No. That's a shame. I would like to give him that, to be honest. Um, I'm sure there's a way I can do it. I, maybe I need to... I don't know. Right. Well, anyway, we'll call the banners. We are going to have to rush south. We don't have time to think about here. We need to get south. Although the, the car starts could... Potentially get involved, so we need to be careful. Move them up there. Everyone else will move down south and join up at Twins. Twins, not Twins. Moat Killen, then we're going to march south against the river, the uh, north. Uh, Arya has been no longer confirmed not to be the door, not to be uh, Arya, which is probably disappointing John to a fair bit. Um, so John, I mean the pink letter hasn't happened yet, has it? so John, yeah. But still, I can imagine John's probably disappointed that his, his sister can't be found. Yeah. Uh, with regards to Ramsey and Roos, I think we all know. I mean, unfortunately, he had a son. But so, unfortunately, the Boltons will probably keep hold of their lands. Unfortunately, I may. I'm annoyed that he had a son because I could have just, I could have, if he hadn't been born, I would have revoked all their lands. He literally was born a couple days before the war ended, which is far and annoying, um, to say the least. But um, John would never, um, he would never, <laughs> um, what's the word? He would never like throw, like put the blame on this boy that was just suddenly born out of all the fray. For the, he would never punish the son for the crimes of their father and brother. Ramsey would be executed. Like, it's just. It's just one of those things that I think John, without question, would do. He'd have him executed, and I think he will. Ramsey's a loose cannon. He's insane. He's crazy. He's killed hundreds of people. He's murdered um, members of families. He's killed Danella Hornwood. He has killed people before, but those are in battles. It's okay. Um, I think that was a... That's an Ironborn. <laughs> that's fine. He's killed the Ironborn before, which is fine. But then after that, he's killed... In addition to the crimes of Lady Donella, as well as his own brother. If you haven't already, like, um, I've gone observed mode before and he's killed his brother. And I'm pretty sure it is confirmed that Ramsey has killed a uh, Domric Bowen because he wanted control of the, the North or the Dreadful. Sorry. <laughs> but then he's killed Clay Kerwin, Toolheart, Roderick Cassell. The murder of him was pretty uh, evident. Mesa Loom was killed off. Ethan Forrester was murdered. Arthur was mur murdered, Arthur, Elena's brother, and one of the, the, that, one of the Ironborn was murdered, pretty much. So, yeah, I think for that, for the crimes of, that's been committed, 
And I think the Northern Lords would respect John more for him killing him off. We will have him executed. And John will swing the sword himself. As for Roose Bolton, though. Um, I, <laughs> would Roose Bolton be killed off? That is the question. He did kill Rob. He did have... Whoever that was killed off. I don't know who that is. Um, but we would make his son hate us. So I think... Because John knows that the wall needs men against the White Walker threat coming. They've already began their assault on the other, and the, they're just about taking it. So I think it makes the most sense. I think even the, yeah, I think they died. He got the hell out of there, actually. Um, I think to, he would send the wall because they need men. See if he actually does get sent to the wall. They don't want his armor. Um, actually, yeah, I'm going to take the... Uh... Oh, I forgot I could just take it. <laughs> <laughs> Why is he print? No, I, didn't. I will revoke the dreadfort. Where's Flesh's keep? I don't know where that is. That's the dreadfort. That's fine. Um, I'll let his son keep F uh, dreadfort. Well, we will take Ephraim, I think. I could take it all, but my, all my vassals just hate me, so I'm going to have him exiled to the wall. <clears throat> there you go. And Lord Benton is gone. Prince Eamon... Oh, Aero. Okay, <laughs> wrong one. Uh, oh, did he escape? Oh, no. Okay, I can make him go to the wall, thank God. Sansa's now my heir, so if we die, <laughs> which is hopefully not going to happen. I mean, if John does die, then I'm going to have to, obviously, my plans for Targaryen Dynasty are going to be scrapped, basically. And we're going to have to go stick with the Starks instead. So, <laughs> yeah. Uh, we send him to the wall. No, for fuck's sake. He's escaped. Um, I'll see if I can have him kid... No, I don't. John wouldn't do that. He's too honourable. If he ever returns, he'll be killed. So, yeah. Well, Paramount stands as one is war and raised me up as Lord of Winterfell. Matriarch Melisandre has been besieging me. However... John, she is so close, he could feel the warmth of her breath. Relore is the only true god. A vow of sworn to a tree is no more power than one sworn to your shoes. Open your heart and let the Lord of the Light come in. Burn his weirds and accept Winterfell's gift for Lord of Light. I just, already, I, as I'm reading that now, John just wouldn't do that. John is just like, he's, he's even gone to us recently as well. But he has an immense respect for the old gods. He, swore, he's, he takes vows and oaths very seriously. Yes, he probably hasn't quite forgiven himself for leaving... Um, obviously the, the wild, why the hell would I marry, what? <laughs> why is it even an option? No idea. Um, but even then I just think it's unlikely as all hell that John would marry, would, uh, not marry, but destroy the weirwoods. I just think it's going to happen. We do, if we do join, do we get, what do we get? We fade by law, which gives us a bit more health and dragon chances are quite, which to be honest, thinking about it. But we get Rhaegar stuff anyway, so... Yeah. Yeah. Whenever I belong to the old gods, but Stannis gets annoyed with us about, but Okay. <laughs> John just wouldn't turn his back on the old gods, it's just not in his nature. That's not John. John wouldn't do that. We'll make Blackfish my that. And we'll immediately send our armies and commanders south. You're seventy two, so you're probably dead. Oh, what happened to uh, Major Mormon? Oh she died of old age. That's shit. Uh, Jorah's welcome back with open arms. I don't know if he's he's married to Blearing Girl. Then if Tyrion is in jail, so he hasn't quite hasn't quite gone well. Um, over there. Right. Anyway, we need to set up a council. So that's probably fine to be honest. Um, although actually, I've got better. Uh, they've got more like these traits like I want. Hossum Trent. Blackwood's good, but. Yeah, I'm just... Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, we set up some uh, castlands. So we give out Horfrost, who I think is one our castlands somewhere. Justiciar can be this guy for now. I'm happy for him to keep Blackwood Grove as long as he remains loyal. Um, Yeah, Shell could actually train the children, which is not going to be a bad thing. Pastor Coin could be Lord Paul. He's been a loyal servant of the North for years. Spymaster, uh, probably Lord Manley makes the most sense. 
and the maestone. We got a priest. Ethan, he's a priest of the Winterwood. Uh, we get him to again John Zealous, but I think hey, are they all gods? I thought they were a faith of the seven. No, I mean yes was us, but I still don't think John would push the beliefs of other people onto other people in the realm. Advisor, uh, who has the most stuff? Probably Hallam Reed. He knows Hallam was close with his uh, father, so it makes the sense, most sense for him to be for that. Um, can I still not make uh, Lawrence legitimize? Unfortunately, it's a shame. It might give me the option to later on, so I'll hold it for now. I don't need to give out lands immediately. Should get married. I know that, but I'm not going to. Um, I don't know what this grey sigil is. Is this John's sigil? No, it's gone. Fine. <laughs> it must be like John Sigil or something. Uh, it's gone. We can fortify Moat Cave, which is a nice little event. I probably will commission a sculpture at some point. Okay, let's move our men south. I may give out these to Law Law Laws later in the line. The White Hills probably not. Um, isn't Iron Wrath meant to be under the glove? Yeah, they are. Which will keep them safe from a uh, from the White Hills and slash Bolton <laughs> slash anywhere else he wants to get in involved and take the lands. This is independent over there in the west. That's fine, and that's independent up there. Right, let's get involved. Oh, <laughs> that's a shame. Cersei was murdered in mysterious circumstances. Uh, Shadow Demon by chance? That sounds very Shadow Demony. But now Tommen does have the Westlands, which makes him a slightly powerful. Um, yeah, so he's dead. Uh, Bran wants to get married. Really? At his age? I mean, fine. <laughs> if he wants to get married, I am happy to let him do so. Um, I'll find him a nice one, though. Perhaps. Oh, I don't want him to. <laughs> Bran is 57. But at the same time, I would like him to have children if he does, which would be nice. Um, so I'm going to say. Brandon's a fierce fighter, and I think... Would Brennan want someone that can be equally as good as the fighter as him, maybe? Potentially? I'll see if I can rescue... Uh... I already got a thing to do that, didn't I? I'll see if I can rescue Edmure. I've lost... <laughs> I've lost him. Where'd he go? I've lost... <laughs> if we go to here, I'll find him this way. There you go. There you go. Um, oh, she's got lustful, so there's high chance she have kids. So... A northern that makes most sense, but at the same time, I can't want... If, I, if Brendan has kids, that'd be pretty good. I don't know who John will marry yet. Potentially Marjorie, maybe? Which would be a decent secured alliance. With the, we can get the Tyrells on our side. Um, how's Aegon doing as well? I didn't... Is he still in that war? I think he's won, isn't he? No, he's still... I'm not in that war for some reason. But I think... I think Aegon's winning. Where's... Uh, what's... Uh, oh, my mouse cast got stuck. Where's... Um, yeah, so Daenerys' plan to take over Yunkai failed. So Daenerys thought, bugger that, I'm going to... I'm going to Westeros. <laughs> um, yeah, Daenerys on the throne is... Uh, is something that may be a problem for Jon. Certainly not prepared to deal with her of all people. I think I'm going to have to bring Costanza's armies up here. I don't know what the Car Starks are doing. I think they're staying out of it, which is good. They're not going to betray the Starks again. Round two <laughs> of betraying Starks. We need to get south and help them out against the White Walkers. So it seems they're not going to come fight, which is fine. We march our men south. Fuck me, it's a lot of armies. Is the Tyrells involved? No, they're fighting Euron. Good. Let them carry on with that. We will we'll give them my martial education. We get the Blackfish to shoot everyone else. I'm not going to probably... Oh, he's dead. <laughs> I need a new Lord Treasurer. Uh, Edwell not. I haven't got you leading armies, so you can just collect taxes. But now my Dimnesi size is fine. I don't need to give out titles just yet. But I will eventually. Why is Tormund fine? Why are you fighting amongst yourselves, you fools? In, the White Walkers are up your ass, and you're attacking. 
Oh, you idiots. Redbeard? No. Another Redbeard, apparently. Right, we need to get south, because Stannis is going to march fucking to the south very quickly, because he's a nut job. We'll gather our force at the Grey Water Watch. The Freys haven't... Who's actually in this war? Hang on. Uh, oh, the Dan... Yeah, because he's got the Westlands. Uh, so it's the Philip Foot, Bonifer, the High Septon, and Freys of Riverrun. Right now, there's not a lot of people there, so I'm going to try and get my forces gathered up. Ah. Right now, the biggest CUNT of this series right now is um, Greyjoy, who's just going around butchering people for the sake of it. Right. We've still got the, the castle, the West Watch, and the castle Black is with us. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> All right. Uh, we we'll wait for... He's coming south, isn't he? Yeah. We we'll wait for, uh... Nope, oh, Tyrion's dead. Head in the orders of this bit. It's a shame, but I think Daenerys couldn't take the... The fact that there was a Lannister in her court was just... Wasn't enough. She couldn't handle it. Um, it's Barristan still there, because he was the heir a while ago. I don't know if he's died. Oh, there he is. He's still alive. He does get the Lord Commander back if Daenerys wins. Aaron's taking the Tully sigil as well as the Falcon, which is cool. Let's see what happens with uh, Lord Aaron. If Rickon and Arya and whatnot come back, I might be able to marry them off to. Hang on, I've got an idea. <laughs> Quick, get on the boat. I have an idea. John's gonna go with uh, Corbray. I'm gonna go rescue Arya from. Should be Bravos. And if I can get the Arons to join us, hopefully we can convince the Lord of the Vale, Lord Horton, who's in charge, to come with us. Could possibly try and go grab, um... Um... Yeah, I could go and grab, um... Rickon. I don't know where Brandon is. I think Brandon actually is in the court of the White Walkers. Yeah, he is. <laughs> Which, I don't know if we can even get... Can we land there and maybe take him, potentially? Maybe? That might work. But we'll give it a go. Uh, for now, our forces, we go off with uh, Corbray, who's the best fighter in the realm, alongside John. We go Bravos and go find Aya, who should be in Bravos, in theory. Oh, they currently see the Lord Bravos. 91! Good Christ! <laughs> My God! <laughs> How is he still alive? Good... God, that's a hell of an age to get to in the, in the medieval period. Um, question is, where could Arya be hiding? Not that she's hiding. Oh, hello. Uh, she could be anywhere. Ah, there you go. She's in Antarios, which is just on the coast there. Don't jump, wrong place. <laughs> Back you go. Uh, we want to try and get Stannis to win the throne. So if we lose, we're getting... Because I think I'm pretty sure if we lose, uh, it doesn't go well for us. He's had... Uh, what's his face? Killed off. Peter Beige did what? He's had my sister... Why? Why would you do that? Why have we got a badge in the hand of the king? Am I hand of the king? Oh, Craig and Swan. He has to flay my armor if you release my sister. Not that I'm sure Peter Beige is really bothered. Really? Why? What the fuck? What has she done? Why are they rival? Oh, that's great. Uh, Edmir's. I'm not going to get anyone to get Edmir back. It's just unlikely as all hell now. Um, let's rescue Sansa. And I'll send... I can't because he's still doing his fee. Offer an aggression pact and demand return. Oh, wait, what? What am I demanding? Oh, I don't care about fame and armor. <laughs> this blight doesn't need some making sounds. Daenerys is right at the capital and besieged with Victoria and Greyjoy leading. Maybe he can't help. <laughs> if he releases Sansa, um, I'd be all, all too happy to help him out. Anyway, back to uh, getting Arya Stark home. Uh, we might be getting aware of Jon's got some spies that reckon they... Saw Arya leave the Riverlands to heading towards potentially 
the to Bravos, and the ship has returned. The sailors north have questioned where they've gone, and they said Bravos, and they said, "Do you notice there was a young girl?" And they said, "Yes." And so John's got an angling. She's in Bravos. Bravos. He goes to Bravos, speaks with the <laughs> the, the dead sea lord of Bravos, who is already dead, um, and asks where the hell he is. Um, and they reckon she's head towards Antarianos. So that's where she'll go. Euron's just hitting people for the sake of it, because he can. We'll try and look for Aya in this place. Waters is off doing that. Right, Snaz is going ahead. Quick chase him before he gets us all killed. And then we march. Where's he going? Sea guards, right. Follow on. Follow on, lads. Do we have any more men we can muster? Yes, we do. Fantastic. We get them all up down south immediately. I need every man I've got for this war, that's for sure. I could raise my. So it's my personal uh, 40 men. I mean, that's a waste of my men. <laughs> I won't bother. I think it's because we recently taken it, so it's all going to be kind of like low. Uh, I don't know if we can get Arya. I'll keep doing the... I don't know. I don't think we can. You think we stand the air, I'm pretty sure Arya should appear. Ah, there we go. Yay! <laughs> Joyous news, my lord. Arya's been found alive and well when she was fought previously dead. Fantastic. And I'm sure I was overjoyed to have John back. Uh, we'll return and go look for Rickon, who we reckon to be over in, in Skagos. Uh, Davos Seawolf was unfortunate enough to find him, so we're going to look ourselves. Uh, but my girlfriend has just finished work, and we are over an hour, so I'm happy to wrap up the episode there. Uh, we have conquered the North. We've claimed, killed off the Boltons. Well, Ramsey and then Bruce has escaped, but Ra Bruce will die if he ever returns, if we have him imprisoned again. Um, we'll give out some more titles. Again, I'm curious. Let me know your thoughts with, um, I don't know if I, yeah, I'll have a bit of time to record. I'll have a bit of time to see comments before the next episode. But anyway, uh, let me know what you think. Let me know what you think if I should, who I should give the dread, Lord, Lordship of the Dreadfort to. Who you think I should give uh, Mo Kane to, for example. And let me know what your thoughts and stuff you'd like to see of this series. Um, but that's all for now. Thank you very much for watching. And I hope you guys, I'm looking forward to carrying on as Jon Snow. And seeing how far we go. We need to chase after Stannis because he's just darted the head, which is utter insanity. <laughs> but, okay. So yeah, we're going to be saving Stannis a lot and see if we can get Stannis on the throne. Uh, let me know some in-game like law reasons as to why you could think Jon could potentially try and overthrow Stannis and become king himself. What motivations would Jon do? Potentially? I'm not going to get Sansa as yet. I'll just have to give up on that, I think. Hopefully she gets released and peace between them is there. I don't know why they've fallen out so hard, but there we go. I'll quickly just save the game as Jon Snow. There you go. And that ends it there. So thank you all very much for watching. And hope you guys are looking forward to Jon Snow series and for seeing the Targaryen DLC Season 2. I am certainly looking forward to that. But that's all for now. Thank you very much for watching and farewell.